Hi guys, welcome to B Codewala. I welcome you to my new amazing project weather app. So in this we are going to make this beautiful weather app using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we are mainly using API by the open weather map.org. By using API we are going to get the data. So here you can see that we have a div and in this we have a input box search city and we have a search icon box and here the weather icon image so so uh, no no city we have search so it's not showing any weather icon so so let's try it so first we'll search delhi so when i click on the search button it will show the name of the city delhi and the image weather image means it's sun and 34.05 degree celsius and it's clear sky so like that we can see for another city bengaluru so when i search for bengaluru so it's showing bengaluru and you can see the uh, scattered clouds and 26 degree celsius and we have a image of the cloud which you can see here so like that we can get the data from the this website using api so this open weather map.org when you go to this website first we have to log in here so after login and go for api and in this api you will see that current weather data so here you can go and check the our api kit and paste it to our code so for the security reason i have not shown my api key you can go and create your own api key after logging to this website and you can paste it into the code so i'll show you how to do this so come to our vs code so before that if you are new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe us so here we will increase the font size so now we can see the clearly so here we have a html file css file and javascript file so come for our html file so in this html file we have style.css for our this style.css we have linked and then we have a font pins we have used these fonts and this this one for the font awesome for icons so which you can see further so here we have a title app weather app and b code wala so in body tag we have taken a div with class weather app so in this div we have taken a input and it's type to be text id search and place on the search city so which you can see here search city and here we have one more button the search button so here we have this search icon which you can see there so now for weather information we have a div with class weather info in this we have a h2 tag for the city name and img tag for the weather icon and temperature for h3 tag and p tag for description so here we have our java script file we have linked which name is skip.js so now come for our css file so in our css file we have a body tag in this body tag we have a background image and then we have a display flex justify content center a line item center and height 100 vh and then we have a margin zero font family pop is and sensor it so now we have a weather app class so in this we have a background color white and padding we have a 20 pixel and border it is 10 pixel and box shadow and we have a width 300 pixel and text align center then for our input we have a 80% width 
padding 10% border should be none and border radius 5 pixel and then we have a box shadow then we have a outline none and color of the text and then we have a font size and then bold font weight and text transform capitalize for our inputs text so now for and for our search icon we have a, this color code box shadow and margin from top and font size 20 pixel then when you hover on our search button it will transform scale one so let's see so when i hover on it see its size is increasing scale to 1.1 1.2 sorry then we have a description id in this description color red and text transform capitalize for our it's showing broken clouds no before we have seen broken clouds sunny or a clear sky whatever the description is showing the text should be red and text transform capitalized and for our button we have a background color transparent and border none and then cursor pointer and margin top 10 pixel then for our weather info class we have a margin top 20 pixel and for our image with 100 pixel and height also 100 pixel now come for javascript here is the main part how it works so first of all we have made our constant variable which is search button and we have get the element by id search button which you can see here the search button id so one by one we are going to call every thing so here search input for city name for weather icon for in temperature and for description so we are storing this in this variable so here we have a search button dot add event listener when we click on search button so what will happen here we have a created a function and here fetching the data from our weather map dot org so here the weather map dot org this website for this from this website is fetching the data and for that data it's showing the result so here we have response to json file so in this api for that website we have a json file there uh, from that it will request that give this data to show the result so first of all we have see the city name dot text content equal to data dot name so in that it will go to the json file of the api of the open weather map.org and it will request the uh, city name and then uh, for that city name it will request the weather icon from that website and then we have a temperature also and description also so one by one it is going to call the data from the website using api fetch request so now here we have used uh, catch so for that we have if uh, city not found so it will catch the error so here city dot test internet city not found and weather icon equal to src equal to be nothing and temperature and description will be nothing it will be empty and if city will be not shown means city not found here uh, i forgot to tell you here is your api id paste so you have to paste your api id here so you can go login and copy the api id and paste it here in our your api id here i have written so here we have to paste your api id and will, when you will paste it will show the result you will not paste here your api ID, it will not give the result so that's it for our code so you can go and try this so hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share it with your friends so thanks for watching we'll meet in next video with a new amazing project thank you